Hey folks, welcome to Ask Liebs. I'm Lieberman and we got an email from a Lieber friend. Hey Matt, I have a problem. Last year I battled depression pretty hard. I couldn't get out of bed, I cried way too often, and I didn't feel like I could tell anyone about it. My depression was because I didn't want to die. Last week was prom and they had to show us the safe and sober videos like they normally do. In the video they showed two girls and a child getting into a car accident from texting. Everyone but the driver died, even the kid, and the video was very, very loud. I got overwhelmed and began thinking about if that happened to me. I ended up passing out in front of everyone I know. Luckily my friends are amazing and helped me out. Since the video, I've been slowly falling back into my depression. I didn't feel like anything is worthwhile, and sometimes I don't see the point of getting out of bed. I've been fighting it as hard as I can with amazing opportunities, and Friday I leave for a vacation away from home. Please, can you give me some tips to avoid another spell of depression? I can't do it again. Lieber friend, I'll tell you the truth. We're all going to die, and that's okay. It's normal to be afraid of dying, but we all will die someday. That's something that you can't escape. Whether it happens now or when you're 90, that seems like a scary thing, but it's also part of the reason why life is so beautiful. The thing that makes life so amazing is its impermanence. If we lived forever, nothing we did would matter. The most beautiful and powerful things in life die. Even water evaporates. Life was meant to end and new things were meant to take root. Billions of people have lived and died before you were ever born and billions more will live and die long after you're gone. I don't know if this is helping you or not, but I feel like it's what you need to hear. It's okay to be afraid of death, but it's also okay to die. I'm going to die someday and in my final moments, I will probably be very scared. But Instead of letting that own my life now, I accept it. I accept that my end will be scary. I don't know when it will come, but that's not gonna rob me of any of life's pleasures or opportunities. For me, and hopefully someday for you, death is a motivator to get shit done to do as much as I can here and now, to try as many things as I can, meet as many people as I can, leave as many videos and, and pieces of art behind for other people when I'm gone, because I will be gone someday. If I didn't know that I was gonna die, that time would someday run out, I would probably just watch Netflix all day, every day. Fuck it, there's always more time. What do I, what's the hurry? What's your rush? We got time, let's fuck around for the next thousand years and then maybe let's think about doing something. I don't think that that's you. I think you genuinely wanna do things with your life and that's why death is so scary. Cause what's the point in starting if you're just gonna die? Death does not limit life, we limit life. It's a choice, it's a decision that we make. I made it for many, many years. I was afraid of a lot, and not just because I was going to die. Although, when I was a kid, I swore that I had cancer 90% of the time. My life looks nothing like I ever imagined that it could, because instead of being afraid of starting my life, I decided I'm going to fill my life with as many things that I want to fill it with as I can while I have it. It was a choice that I had to make daily when life looked dire and grim and when I assumed that things would never improve. Have you ever seen Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? There's a scene where he has to actually take a leap of faith. It looks like he's stepping into just a chasm, but there's an invisible bridge. And life is taking the leap of faith that the bridge is there. One day the bridge will collapse and you will fall and you will die. That happens. There is no avoiding it. There is no outrunning it. It just is. But the bridge is beautiful and the view is beautiful. And you are taking the risk that the bridge will be there long enough for you to do something that matters to you. Folks, that is the video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Give me a little comment, a little like and subscribe. Maybe share it with some friends. I don't know, do you know anyone who's afraid of dying? Maybe send it to them. Uh, full length Fridays tomorrow, Libra Friends Hangout Saturday. I hope to see you there. Goodbye.